Hi friends, in this session, I'm going to explain about how to copy data from Excel file to SQL Server in SSIS package. So if you are watching first time my video, please subscribe my channel and also like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I am providing complete training of SSIS from beginning level to advanced level and also interview questions, real time project explanation with scenario based and much more updated in this channel. So if you follow my classes from class one, you will definitely will get the job and also easily survive in the real time environment. So in this video, we are going to learn about. So what is the scenario? We have to load the data from Excel source to SQL server. SQL server is the destination here. OK, so first of all, let me run the Visual Studio. So I installed Visual Studio 2019 version. Just open. So if anybody watching first time, please check previous videos also. OK, so in previous video, we explain how to create the project and how to create the packages, right? So, okay, this is the project, right? Demo project. Let me open this. Yes, it's loading. Preparing solution. Yes. So, already we have a package that, right? So, if you want to create a new package, so simply right click and create a new package. You can able to see package too, okay? So what is our scenario? Excel to SQL server, right? Okay, fine. So, so there is a Excel file. Where is the Excel file? Yeah, this is the source file. Let me open. Yeah. So we have employee number, employee name, job, and salary. So if you want to copy this data into the SQL server, we should have the same structure, employee number, name, job and salary. First of all, we have to create this table. Is that existing or not? Let me check it. So if it is not there, we have to create it. So SSMS. connect it databases in the database SQL demo database just open this and just open the table yeah so inside the tables we have a table EMP table okay so let me run the query first of all so we can use small letters or capital letter, anything that would be fine select star from what is the table name emp okay let me run this table yes employee number is there name is there job is there salary is there but there is no data so i want to pull the data in this table in this empty table okay from where what is the source here excel file right okay fine let me close this first of all now go to the visual studio so what is the data flow task right we have to drag and drop now you can drag if you want to rename in real time we can give some good name right so just i am giving here our load so i can keep capital load data from excel to SQL server this is what our scenario right okay fine you can double click it if you double click you can go to this data flow task so inside the data flow task we have to configure our source and destination what is our source Excel where is the source so this is the common come down so other sources inside other sources you can able to see here Excel source yeah this is my source so if you want to configure the source what you have to do double click so you have to create a source manager so you have to select the first right uh, create new 
and I'm going to create 97 and 2003 version. Okay, fine. So I'm going to browse. I want to get data from source. Okay, just click OK. Excel Connection Manager. The name is Excel Connection Manager. Okay, that is fine. So I don't have any issues. Table, yeah, table are view. So I could I couldn't see I couldn't see anything here. Why? Okay, just close this. Come down. So open source file. So we have to save as what is the version? We have to save as uh, source uh, file. We can rename as source file. And what is the version? So I want to go for to XLS. Where is the XLS? We can find XLS, right? Yeah, if I, here only you can find, right? Excel 97. 2003 version right dot xls fine so now save this now close this what is the file name so come here double click now uh, so we have to columns just click on new Browse the file now. See here, you can able to see Microsoft Excel 97 2003. Okay, so we have to select which version we are using the Excel file, otherwise, we will get the compatibility issues. Now, we have to select your file source file, right? Just click on OK and click on OK. Okay, source is configured. Okay not provided. destination is not provided. okay that is not fine so uh, what is our destination our destination is OLE DB destination so for SQL server we have to take OLE DB destination now what you have to do you have to connect this okay now we have to configure our destination what is our destination our destination is table are you that is fine uh, SQL server right here connect database engine copy this server name already be connected right okay fine so now come to visual studio here we have to keep okay just click on new You have to put the server name SQL server connection name now click here yeah so whatever the database is available in this server it is going to list out right so which database you want to pull so in SQL demo right see here what is the database name SQL demo what is the table name employee okay come here SQL demo I just put it just click on okay click on ok so now here you can able to select the table what is the table employee table now if you want to see how it is existing click on view existing here you can able to see the uh, preview right how the existing table in the destination employee number name job salary right so now close it and now click on ok so from this database in this table I want to pull the data from the excel source ok fine so why it is showing cross mark ok fine so now go to mapping go to the go to the mapping double click so we will see we will check the mapping is there any issue mapping so from which column ignore input column is it's not mapped huh? available columns why it is showing cancel so 
so we are using connection manager we can delete this connection excel connection manager yes yeah we have to from where right this employee table to so in source also we have to take uh, we have to select this employee table okay now there is no problem at the source level now still we have a problem in the destination what is the problem mapping a mapping also correct only okay so if you move the cursor here you can able to see what is the data type double precision float okay so in the destination what is the data type so four byte signed integer dt14 okay and what is this here string dts sir what is this here string what is this here currency okay what is this here so here data type issue okay fine so we have to fix this data type issue so if you want to fix this data type issue what you have to do we have to go for the data conversion task where is that data conversion task yeah you can able to see here right in common so you have to take this data conversion task double click or you can do one thing you can delete yeah or you can delete first later we can connect it delete this no problem now just take this now it connect this yeah now connect this yeah now double click now select the column so we have selected all columns so copy of employee number yes output alias names we are going to create the new column here alias names copy of new column name or you can give same as it is also there is also fine what is the data type here double precision we can fix so instead of double what is the data type before it is so let me check yeah 8 byte signed integer dt14 yes right 18 or this one not 18 i think 8 byte 4 byte yeah 4 byte signed integer dt underscore 14 this is the data type and employee name this employee name data type what is the data type so string yeah it is a string this job also string data type and uh, what is this salary here salary it is in double precision so it is in currency the case right see you yeah see yeah currency dt underscore cy okay just click on okay now data type issue also solved right now what is the issue here e name cannot converted between unicode and non unicode string data types and let me run this package we'll see what will happen let me run this package package validation error okay double click yes we have yes mapping mapping also correct only is there anything error so four byte yeah signed yeah double precision yeah we have to select we have to select whatever we created alias names copy of employee number copy of employee name now see data types and everything is going to match right copy of job and uh, copy of salary right now see both are same data types right there is no issue now click on ok right now there is no issue now you can start the package yes successfully run source how many 14 rows copied in the oily db destination now whether it is copied or not how to check you have to come to sql here so so what is the database sql demo and what is the table employee table now 
just select and execute it now see now data is copied in the sql server db right so in this way we can able to copy data from excel source to destination right what is the destination here sql server so in this video we discussed about two uh, main things so we have to remember about, remember about the uh, version right whenever you are uh, taking data from the excel file so version compatibility also very important right so and another one is data conversion so if data types is not matching then it is package is not going to run right okay so these are the key points you have to remember and you can tell in the interview as well as okay so thank you for watching my video if anybody wants special training you can call to this mobile number or you can email this my whatsapp number also same number thank you for watching my video